Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on rake plot in Seaborn library. And this is the second video of my Seaborn series. Uh, let's start. Here are the necessary packages I need for this video. I imported NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn and Matplotlib. Okay, so I'm going to use the Iris dataset the famous iris data set and uh, we can simply load this data set from sns library like this this is the line of code for that and here i have the data frame iris we have five uh, variables sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and species okay let's start our most basic red plot first figure uh, fix size Eight six. Now SNS dot red plot. Now look SNS. I imported Seaborn as SNS, so that's what SNS is. In X direction, I want sepal length. Okay. In Y direction, I want sepal width. And then data, data is iris. Okay, plt.show. This is the uh, rake plot. So this is very simple scalar plot. And sepal length and sepal width both are continuous variables. And this is very simple scalar plot. We just have a regression line here. Regression line, the best fit regression line for all these dots. And you can see this uh, shaded area that is the confidence band. Okay, each point of this line has the confidence interval. All right. And by default, the confidence level is 95%. But if you want, you can change it. Let's see how we can do it. So as I said that by default, the confidence level is 95%. Let's check. Okay. Look, the if you look at it, the confidence band looks exactly the same, right? And if you change the confidence level, like by if you want uh, 75%, look, it got narrower. Isn't it? It's a lot narrower. Now, if you check with 90%, it gets uh, wider again but less than this one okay well do we have to use only continuous variables for red plot no we can actually use a uh, categorical variable as well in our data set the only categorical variable is species and you can see all the values of the species column are strings we have to change these strings to numeric value values first to use it in the visualization. Okay, iris uh, species dot unique. Okay, so we have these three unique values in iris uh, species column: Cetosa, Versical, and Virginica. So how I'm going to change them and convert them to numeric variable? So I will keep the original uh, species column as it is and I'm going to make a new column named species1 and in species1 I will, going, I will replace this species column and Cetosa will be replaced by 1 Versi color will be replaced by 2 and virginica oh, virginica will be replaced by three look at our iris data set now here we have the newly formed species one column and where the values are one two and three two doesn't show it's probably in the middle somewhere okay now i'll just copy from here copy and paste 
Okay, in x direction now I will use this uh, categorical column species 1 and instead of simple length in y direction sorry instead of simple width I will use simple length okay let's see here is the plot and look all these are just straight lines right because we have 1 2 and 3 three values in x direction so all the um, simple lengths will fall in 1 2 or 3 so definitely they will be like this but what will what I will do I will just use this jitter parameter x jitter 0 0.1 okay what this will do it is just going to shake it a little bit look and you see that it's it's scattered it's not in right in one uh, line anymore so you can see the values instead of 0 0.1 if you think this they are scattered a little bit too much and you might think it's not 2 it's probably 1.8 or 2.5 you can scatter a lot less like 0 0.4 0 0.04 you see it's really close to each other now but still you can see it's not in the one line anymore so it just gives you a little view and also a better idea of how many points are there all right and here one two and three i think it's going to help if we have the name original name of the species instead of one two and three to understand it right so for that I will just use x ticks where x ticks we have 1 2 and 3 the value right 1 2 and 3 and we are going to replace it by this unique values of the species okay let's see here we have Cetosa, Versicolor and Virginica and x label and y label i want to change it says species one here i will just put species and plt dot y label i will use simple length uh, and i want to have a plt dot title title would be Simple length for species. Okay, and I will use a bigger font size for title. Here it is. All right, now instead of all the points here, you can even use a point estimate and just have a point here if you want it just look at it. instead of x jitter i will use an x estimator np dot min look what it does instead of all the points it gives you one single point that represents the mean because i put min here if you look at it so but we need to just have a little extra space in this side because for Citos and Virginica points hardly shows right so what I'll do plt dot uh, x limit I will use see Citosa here the x value is 1 and Virginica for its x value is 3.2 so if, instead of 1 I will add 0 0.8 so let's give x some more extra space in this side and instead of 3 I will put 3.2 so it's going to expand some more here look at it so we got extra space here and there and no points here we all we only have the mean then a regression line and the confidence band and instead of mean let's try with median as well here we have the median okay Let's see if mean and median are almost the same. Okay. Look, 6.75. Uh, yeah, 6.5 in between 6.5 and 6.75. It's a little less. It's 
uh, it's close to 6.5 a little bit different a little bit different six a little above six and a little below six uh, in the versi color mean and median okay so whatever is suitable for your project okay this is what i wanted to show you today the rec plot in seaborn library uh, this is going to be a series of seaborn library plots i am going to come back with a lot more in future please feel free to like comment share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching